this video I'll be going over the basics of using SketchUp to design Forge maps. And the first thing I'll we'll want to do is go ahead and get the objects from micrator.com. I already have them downloaded, so I'll just go ahead and minimize that. Once you have the object downloaded, go ahead and open up from your desktop. Once it loads, you'll see something similar to this. The first thing we're going to want to do is get rid of all the extra objects since we don't need them anymore. So select all the objects with the select tool and hit the delete key. From there, we're going to want to bring up the components window. So you go to Window, Components, and you'll see the Home button, which brings up all the Forge World objects. The first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and place a grid on the map so we have something to build off of. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the origin, and you can see it automatically brings up the Move tool. Once you have the grid down, I'm going to go ahead and place my first object, which is a two-story tower and place it on the grid. We're going to zoom in on it with a zoom wheel or you can click the zoom tool to zoom up and down to zoom in and out respectively. Now that we have that down, we're going to want to go ahead and rotate it around so we can get a good viewing angle. We use that by hitting the middle mouse button or selecting the tool up here. Now we place another object that we want to interlock it together with and well, with the move tool still selected, we're going to select one of these crosses, which will rotate it about its center. Um, in this case, we want it to be 90 degrees from where it was, so sometimes it'll snap to it, or you can just type in 90 degrees. And now we're going to select this midpoint of this point where we want to intersect it with, and zoom in on the midpoint of this exit. Now say you wanted to interlock the two together, I'll go ahead and rotate it around and click the midpoint again, but this time move it along its axis until you see the green line show up. And sometimes if you need to rotate up or down, you need to be looking at it correctly so that it's basically perpendicular to where you're trying to move it. So now that we have it moved, we're going to want to go ahead and pan the camera a little bit. And to do that, you click the middle mouse button and you click the left mouse button to bring up the pan tool. Now we're going to want to connect another object in at an unusual angle. So we'll select the ridge medium and place it down somewhere in the world. We're then going to want to intersect the mid midpoint again with the midpoint here. And we'll rotate around to get a good viewing angle. zoom in on what you just placed and select the rotate tool or click the Q button. With the rotate tool selected we're going to go out and click the end point and then click another point on the lower arm. In some cases it's a little finicky to place so we'll just go ahead and put the angle in as 15 degrees. Now let's say you wanted to copy this entire area and have it on the inverse side. So we'll select again the select tool with the space bar and select all the objects. If you need to select more or deselect ones, you hit control and then control shift deselects. So we also now we're going to hit control C to copy all the objects and control V to go ahead and paste them. Place them down somewhere in the world. And now we want to rotate this entire group, so we're going to go ahead and select the Rotate tool by hitting Q, and selecting a point, and then something perpendicular to that. And then we rotate it, or you can just type in 180 degrees. Now we want to merge these two pieces together, so go ahead and select the Move tool with M, or clicking the Menu button, and click the point that we want to intersect with, rotate around, and place it in. And that's basically all there is to it. For, with these basic tools, you can pretty much build anything you want. It's just a matter of using them over and over again.